I should come up with a name like when I vlog. Like how Tamar has Tamarsons and um, that chick has like little monsters or something. I know, right? Like I have fans. But uh, it's better than hey now. So anyway, I had something that I wanted to talk about. And per usual, I, we get everything together, start getting my notes, find Terry's tablet, because his video is just better than my computer, and everything, and um, answer notes. And I just can't remember what the fuck, uh, what I was going to do. I know I wanted to do like the teeth thing, but... It's nothing really new because I haven't made the appointment because they still never called me back and came up with this great, wonderful plan that they were supposed to have. So I didn't do that. And uh, so I haven't gone back to the doctor for the same reason. She said my blood pressure and everything was so high. They just didn't want me to come for no reason. They'd work on it, get back to me, and nobody said anything. So what I think is that uh, sh this new lady feels the same way as every other doctor, when she said, well, you don't have the uh, bicuspid aortic disease or whatever it was, all of this is from uh, pain, I, th I think at that point, she just felt the same, like she said before, it's nothing I could do for you, but give you uh, different medications, then when I called back to tell her because she gave me like oxycodone or something which I told her before it didn't work tried it anyway called back to tell them it didn't work if they could just write something new and then Anthony goes and pick it up and then she even suggested well I just go to a pain clinic and we know uh, the pain clinic, clinic uh, all they do is push drugs they give you so many drugs then you know a year or two later tell you you're on too many drugs because they had to increase the dosage to continue to get the same uh, relief and then say well they can't prescribe that and now you're just a junkie left on your own. At least that's how I feel about it. Sure do. Talk to enough people for the last 18 years. It's just how I feel. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is try some different doctors since the weather's getting better. Anthony has some vacation days coming now uh, since his cancer has been uh, good for a year. So you should be able to take me. And then with my colon, we decided we're just going to try our best to find a doctor. Not close as we can. It's only two here in my town, but in Chicago. So that's 45 minutes to, well, an hour out for the hospital. And I just have to do it, which brings me to. So the other day, because I just wanted to see how I could sit, like, I'm kind of sitting, like, right now which people don't even get free, free, even a type on my laptop, if I'm in the bed, I still have to lean one way or another to type, right? And that hurts. Um, if, if I sit up, it's way, it hurts a lot. If I walk, it just feels like my inside's coming out. I don't personally think this is all this. If it's only one foot of colon that they left in disease, I hurt my entire midsection. I think it's like something else. It's, I mean, and I'm getting older. Everybody has like some kind of uterine problem or something like, you know, maybe it is that too, but maybe it's something else. So I don't know. I'm going to see a gynae too. I'm going to see rheumatology because, um, see this bone, how much it's way sticking out. And then now I have a, another cyst on that knuckle. And I never got them in my right hand before. They were just always in my left hand. And even like in my arms and stuff, they'll hurt. And I have knots in. I don't know, it's just getting really weird. So I want to see somebody for that. And um, also when we were going out. We go out and I was like, I could do this, I could do this. I figured I would go with him just to ride to get um, some curtains for our screen, now what do you call it, the sliding door, because this is a rental house that we're in now, it's real cheap, it, it's really sucky, he went, he first, when we moved in, he said, because we had our own house, he would let us do anything we wanted, so we moved in, got ready to fix the deck, 
fix the front windows, put a window on the dining room and stuff like that. And then he said no. And he hasn't done anything. We have holes in the floor. It's literally holes. The only reason it's not gone straight through up here in the second floor is because of the carpet. And he won't fix it. And uh, so um, anyway, that'll, that's a whole nother fight. So I go out just to see how things will go and, and get the curtains for the that sliding thing. They were on sale for like $7 or something. Good sale, by the way. And uh, so it don't be so hot down there because there's no windows in that room. And uh, as soon as we got in the car, just going down the stairs and getting in the car, I was crying. By the time we got to the store, it was probably 10 minutes away. I could barely walk. When we got there, I had to lean on the uh, sh stroller thing. And um, by the time we got home, literally I could not move. I couldn't do nothing. All I could do was cry. It was just like a bloody mess. My stomach had swollen up like I was like six months pregnant or something. It just was complete pain. And so, like I couldn't do nothing that whole day but cry and everything. And then, so this was Friday. Saturday, all I did was cry. So yesterday, I figured, well, you know I could do this. I could do this. I'm not a weak person. And and I always feel like I'm such a weak person because I could do less and, and less and in my mind can think less and less. So I sat up and started going through like some of the bills and stuff like that. This was the dumbest shit ever. I mean it, it hurt so bad. So bad. And then I sat there and I thought okay I'm doing all this to prove what. You know and at this point uh, some friends that I've known a while uh, not that I've met but that I've known a while through the computer. Uh, we were talking, just off and on, and you know, I I just I'm just crying, just crying, and I couldn't take it anymore. You know, and I and I asked, you know, why is it? It was all off topic, by the way, like per usual. And I'm like, you know, why is it that we feel we have to prove some shit? You know, we always just have to prove something to ourselves or somebody, and. I thought it was just the dumbest thing. I already knew it with her and all that. So, uh, Mike, one of the smartest people like I've ever met, right? He says, when everything is hard, the victories become smaller, but they bloody well still remain victories. Own the triumph and have some more coffee. I thought that was awesome. I know, right? That was just like the smartest thing and then I was talking to um to my husband and you know he's asking me why are you you know like I, I should be feeling better or whatever and I was like well I sat up for a while today because I didn't want to feel like a weak person you know I it's so much need to be done that he can't do and so much I need to do and he said you know I'm your husband uh, all the people, I know you're not weak. I know what you could do, and I know you're not weak. And I thought about it, and it seems like, to me, the things that I used to do, you know, I went to school, I worked two jobs at once, you know, at one time. I had my kids, and when I had my first kid, I mean, I, I did the whole thing. You know, I, even if I threw up, I still got up, and then we still, you know, watch Bernie up. Um, you know, play. We we did whatever. When I got to the point I couldn't move out the bed, you know, I had the mom and me basket. All the stuff you could do in the bed. You know, so it's just really uh, difficult to think about now how even just little things that I'm trying to do are, are so, so huge, you know, just to sit on the side of the bed, to fill out a paper for Terry for school, you know, and then to go get my own cup of coffee is a triumph. And it's not every day. I mean, some days I had damn good days. Like, you know, one day we were up being silly. And, you know, some days are just really good. That's just the way it is with life. You have good and bad. But most days, 
are like worse and worse, harder and harder, and it's harder and harder to find the little things that I could do to make a difference in life. And that's when I realized people have to feel they make a difference in life. You know, for somebody to say, well, you're still here, and you know, your kids miss you, people miss you, whatever, it's so, you know, people need a purpose. You know, just like a man feels, you know, he's not a man unless he gets up, goes take care of his family. But one way or another, I'm not saying it's necessary to go to a job, but you know, and you know, that mom feels, even though her baby is old enough to make his own cereal in the morning, you know, she still gets up and does it. You know, it's just things we do, you know, if, if you have your passion, you know, I, I used to like to go to work. Even when I was sick, I liked to work. I like to go to work. I, I like to help people. I liked when my manager said, oh, you know, th that took a great relief off the team. You know, everybody needs to feel part of something that they're contributing. And when you're not, I think that's where the problem starts. You start to lose hope and you start to be like, you know, why? And you, and you, you can't have hope if you're not constantly seeing um, anything you could do. And that's why I think what Mike said is so important. Even the tiniest thing, it may seem really fucking tiny today, but it's still a victory. You still have to, you know, hold on to that and realize it, it, it'll get better. It's a small victory today, you know. I, all I did today was to make my coffee. Literally, I had to have AJ Iron Terry's clothes. I just, I couldn't because I felt I wanted to sit up yesterday and prove something to nobody. You know, to myself, I guess. And today I suck. Everything hurts. You know, I'm all out of whack. I, I, I just feel the blood, you know, pouring out my butt. It's just disgusting but you know I think about it where well number one I had to calm down because every time the doorbell rang or every day I woke up I thought was today today we're going to get evicted because we're behind too much rent because um, of my oldest son's school and I know uh, the owner wants to put us out so I think about that every day I go to bed with it on my mind and then I thought about it. I didn't think about it. I actually saw it in a movie. You could be the best warrior, which I am. I'm a pro. The best. It's not going to change shit. It's not. It's not going to change nothing. So, you worry, you worry, you worry, you worry, and for what? It ain't a damn thing you could do till the next day. So, what I started doing the last couple of days is back to my old attitude of fuck it, shit happens. I, I, that's something I've been doing since teenage years. And I think sometimes it's good to have. It doesn't mean you don't care. Like everybody told me that was a bad attitude. I don't think it is. Really? Fuck. What am I going to do? Nothing. And shit happens, Jess. If, if it, before this, it was something else. After this, it's going to be something else. I still can't get the fucking money for my eyes to me supply stuff. I could. Can't. You know, it ended up, we, we ended up with. 397 left from everything and my deductible is 400 so you know we can't a family of six just can't live off of that when every time you know we don't know the prescription we're going to need or what other bill is going to come in I didn't think about it what's going to happen so I, I can't do that and then even if I take okay 200 now and 200 out Anthony's next check it's going to be so close that's going to leave us another month if something happens. And if this man does put us out, we'll have zero dollars. Not even money to go to a hotel. You know, so I have to. I have to say, fuck it. Nothing I can do right now. Shit happens. The little triumph I had today, our brush the teeth I have left. I wish you could see now. Uh, this one is one of the only teeth that lines up with this one. They're both now coming out. And this one is totally dry like this one when it just broke off that day. It, and it hurt. So these two, these two, and this one 
I, I, I suspect I will just karma and come out. In which case, then, I'll have to go to, like, liquid stuff, because I hate mushy shit, hate it, so I just don't like the texture, it just makes me gag. So, I'll be on liquid, which my ileostomy already hates, which I hate, which is not going to be a good thing. Okay, but so anyway, focus today, try small things, doesn't matter what it is, if it's something small, you fucking did it. You did if you did it today. Even if it's that same small thing you did for the next five days, then you got to think bigger. If you have a setback on one day, you can always think back. But five days ago, I made my own coffee. You know, it may not seem like a lot, but it really is. It's so much. It's so much because it's your hope. And you have to have hope. You just, you just have to. So, um, anyway, I didn't mean to ramble on, but it seems I always do now. And, uh, maybe one day I'll have some direction. But until then, I just wanted to, uh, holler. And get my thoughts out, although I'm not sure how much sense it made. But I'll put it up anyway, since only four people ever watch it. Alright, see you later.